Yo, what is up guys, Grim here, and welcome to my Fushuen Guide, where you're going to learn exactly how to build our pink general in training to be the immortal protector of your teams. In this video, we'll be covering her power level, kitten traces, rotations, best relics and light cones, eidolons, as well as her team synergies. Fushuan is a quantum preservation character that specializes in protection and damage mitigation. Unlike other preservation characters, she has very little access to shields and instead relies on damage mitigation and redirection. Similar to other 5-star preservation and abundance characters, Fushuan is fully capable of solo sustaining a well-geared team by herself in endgame. But unlike other fellow 5-stars, that's not all she does. In order to solo sustain, Fushuan has incredible team-wide damage mitigation, but also the ability to redirect damage from the rest of her team to herself, allowing her tanky defenses to soak the hits. She also has crowd control protection for the entire team, all as expected of a preservation 5 star. Fushuan also has access to a massive self heal whenever she gets low, but also the ability to spot heal the team with her ultimate or fully restore it with her signature light cone under the right circumstances making her an honorary abundance character as well. But that's not all, she also provides the entire team a large crit chance boost and with her signature light cream equipped, a percentage damage increase, giving her a dash of harmony here as well. To top it all off, a very well geared Fushuan is also capable of dealing a modest amount of damage to the enemy and breaking them for quantum weakness. Fushuan is basically the avatar of Honkai Star Rail, combining elements of four different paths, and I fully expect her to end up at the top of everyone's tier lists for quite some time. In order to learn how to build and play it, let's dive into the specifics of her kit. One of the strongest things about Fushuan is that all of her damaging and supporting abilities scale off of her total HP, allowing her to do decent damage while also fully fulfilling her role as a preservation character. Fushuan's skill activates Matrix of Prescience for 3 turns, or in other words, the Big Pink Ring, and is responsible for activating most of Fushuan's party buffs, so you're going to want to keep this active at all times. While the Matrix is active, it causes 65% of all damage taken by team members to be redirected to Fushuan. Damage redirected in this way is actually treated as normal damage, so all of Fushuan's defenses will apply, meaning making her tankier by stacking defense or damage mitigation really bulks up your team, as she's effectively sharing her defenses with the squishier members on your party. In addition to that, while the Matrix is active, your team also gains a buff called Knowledge, which increases their crit rate and grants them bonus HP equal to a percentage of Fushuan's max HP. And she's got a lot of HP, so it's fair to say your team is going to be getting a whole lot more thick. Thanks to the damage sharing and bonus HP with the Matrix active, one shots should for the most part be a thing of the past. Looking at you Ting Yoon, and all you'll need to worry about is keeping your pink general in training alive and well. As a cherry on top, thanks to Fushuan's third bonus ability, each time she uses her skill, she applies a one time crowd control protection to each team member on the team, meaning Jin Yuan can fight finally land his Lightning Lord. Remember, using this skill again will grant you another one-time protection, so it's an incredible tool for preventing crowd control. To top it off, after unlocking Fushuan's first bonus ability, refreshing her matrix early grants 20 bonus energy, which is always worth doing. As a quick tip, when you see the pink circle flashing on Fushuan's turn, that's when you should refresh it for optimal performance, like you can see in the background here. We're gonna use the skill and we're good to go. There is one downside to the matrix though, and that is if your Fushuan is taking more damage than she can handle, but this generally only happens in heavy AoE fights where she's redirecting damage from the entire team. All of this can be solved though with correct relics and stat choices. Fushuan's talent is an emergency heal that triggers when she reaches 50% HP or lower. When she does, she'll be healed for the majority of her HP she's missing. At max rank, this is effectively a full heal no matter how low she actually was. But to ensure this isn't completely broken, in order to trigger this effect, you must first consume a trigger count, which can be seen tracked below her portrait at the bottom of the screen. If you don't have any trigger counts available, you won't be able to activate the heal. But as soon as you do gain one, she'll immediately activate it, so if you're low on life and you finally do get one, then you'll be healed back up to full. You start the battle with one trigger count by default, and you can get more of them from her other abilities. Her talent also grants her and the entire team a buff called Misfortune Avoidance. This grants a substantial amount of damage reduction to the entire party. 
Fushrin's ultimate is a large AoE quantum attack that deals damage based on her HP percentage, but most importantly grants her a trigger count of her HP restoration talent. Unlocking Fushrin's second bonus ability also adds a healing component to her ultimate that heals the entire team for 5% of her max HP plus 133. The combination of her bonus ability with her self-healing charges gained from her ultimate are the keys to her team-wide solo sustaining capabilities. In endgame, with optimal access to her ultimate and a reasonably geared team in Fushuan, with suitable damage you should have no trouble clearing Memory of Chaos with her as your sole healing unit. As an extra tip, if you already have two trigger accounts of her healing talent in a fight, consider holding off on using her ultimate so you don't waste any potential heals. Fushuan's technique grants the party a barrier. This persists through swapping between team members. And while it's active, enemies can't start a battle with you. But when you start a battle with them, Fushuan will activate her Matrix of Prescience for two turns. Thanks to the barrier working with swapping, it's always worth using this technique before every big battle. Level up Fushuan's traces in the following order. Prioritize her talent first, then focus on her skill next. Finally level up her basic and ultimate equally. Whenever a bonus ability becomes available, unlock it as soon as possible, and prioritize getting the small HP traces behind them. Fushuan's rotation is incredibly simple. Start combat by using her technique and basic attack until her matrix starts flashing, then use her skill. When her ultimate is available and you don't already have two stacks of her HP recovery trigger, use it. This ends up being a rotation of alternating between using two basics and a skill back and forth, using the ultimate as it's available. Fushuan's ultimate is incredibly important to her and the team's survival, as discussed earlier, and gaining it as many times as possible is a priority. By using energy recharge, we can ensure that happens. Fushuan's ultimate costs 135 energy, and if you don't gain any energy from combat or have any energy recharge, things can be a little bit tough. Starting from 0 energy, Fushuan will recover 5 energy after she uses her ultimate, gain 20 energy per basic attack, and 50 energy per skill activated while her matrix is active. In the worst case scenario, this means Fushuan would need to use 4 basic attacks and a skill to gain her ultimate. Fortunately, energy recharge and energy gained in combat can help us. Taking a look at this chart will give you a good idea of how much energy recharge is right for you. The table displays how much energy Fushuan generates without getting any from combat, based on each rotation, with and without the signature, and at various energy recharge breakpoints. Over 3 to 4 actions, you can also expect to gain 10 to 20 energy from Fushuan taking hits, so factor that in as well. Based on these results, I personally recommend running the energy recharge link rope on Fushuan if possible. It guarantees she'll get her ultimate every 4 actions at worst, with a high chance of her getting it every 3 actions. The 3 action rotation is even more likely if you have a signature equipped, depending on combat RNG. Before we get stuck into relics, let's talk a little bit about what Fushuan's best stats are. The stats I recommend you pick up for Fushuan are HP percentage, defense percentage, speed, and energy recharge. HP percentage is Fushuan's main stat. It scales her damage, survival, team buffs, and healing. Get as much of it as possible. Defense percentage is her second best stat, and should not be neglected. Having a massive HP pool is great, but if you don't have any damage mitigation, you won't last long. Defense is key to ensuring your Fushuan stays alive as a solo sustaining unit. Speed is good, but unlike other sustaining units, Fushuan requires skill points to operate, meaning it's not as important as on other healers like Luocha. And its main benefit is extra damage, break, and crowd control protection, but it also does give you more ultimates. Energy recharge, as discussed earlier, is very important for gaining more ultimates, and should be prioritized over speed if all you want is more ultimates. All of these stats are really important, but how much of each should you aim for when considering High Difficulty Simulated Universe or Memory of Chaos 9-10? to Well, for endgame, aim for around 6,500 to 8,000 HP, with Fushuan's Matrix active. Even more than this is better, but how much HP you have access to in endgame will depend which light cone you have equipped, trace levels, and how many HP substats you can secure. Don't worry though, if you're still gearing up and progressing your relics, shoot for the highest number you can manage. As for defense, to avoid getting one shot by massive AoE attacks, aim for around 1400 to 1600 defense. When we get to relics, if you need to swap out an HP percentage or speed main stat piece to get your defense up, go for it. 
Getting this modest amount of defense offers Fushuan much more protection than simply stacking more HP. For speed, aim for the usual breakpoints for optimal performance in Memory of Chaos. 121 is good for medium investment and 134 is good for endgame investment. But keep in mind, base speed isn't bad on Fushuan, so only invest in it when you feel like she is sufficiently tanky. With really crazy relics, more speed can be built, but picking up other stats is likely more beneficial, as Fushuan is not fully skill point positive, compared to her peers like Luocha, and only needs enough speed to get her ultimates to keep herself and the team alive. More HP percentage or a stat of your choice will likely be preferred. As for energy recharge, you can consult the chart from earlier, but we'll be touching on it more when we get to relic choices and light cones. After ensuring your Fushuan's defenses and speed are covered and she has no issues surviving, here are some experimental stats that you look into grabbing if you want to spice things up. Building a bit of break effect percentage can grant Fushuan a ton of combat potential and utility, allowing her to apply massive entangles with her quantum break, granting both bigger delays and damage. Another interesting stat to look into is outgoing healing percentage. Fushuan has two heals, a flat heal for the entire party from her ultimate and a self-heal from her talent. Outgoing healing will improve both of these, improving not only her self-sustain, but also her team-wide sustain. Finally, if you want to get really wild, you can also invest into some direct damage stats on Fushuan, like crit rate, crit damage, and increased damage. If you're looking for maximum performance though, ensure you have your defenses covered before going too wild with any experimental stats. Now that we know what stats we're looking for, let's take a look at relics. For Fushuan's main set, I recommend using a combination of two set bonuses from the Longest Disciple set, Guard of Withering Snow set, and Messenger Traversing Hacker Space set. Two-piece Hacker Space grants 6% speed. Two-piece Withering Snow will grant your Fushuan 8% damage reduction, really beefing her up. And two-piece Longest Disciple will grant you 12% life. You can combine these in any way you want to achieve different results. Combining two-piece withering with two-piece longvis will give you the most durable set possible. Combining two-piece hacker with two-piece withering will give you good damage reduction as well as some extra speed. And finally, combining two-piece longvis disciple and two-piece hacker will give you the life which scales her kit on top of the speed, which can be great for utility. Using any of these combos in endgame is incredibly powerful and more than enough. So I'd recommend using the one you have the better main stats and substats on. For those looking to experiment though, you can also look into mixing a two-piece passerby of Wandering Cloud for healing percentage increase with any of the two pieces just mentioned. Or you can specialize in damage by using a four-piece longest disciple for 16% increase crit rating. For her planar sets, I recommend Fleet of the Ageless, as it drains Fushuan increased HP percentage but also gives the party a nice attack boost. It's definitely the one I'll personally be using. But if your damage dealer of choice doesn't make use of attack percentage, you can also look into using Broken Keel instead. Just make sure you satisfy that effect resistance requirement. The crit damage from Keel may also be more damage for super geared damage dealers if your Fushuan can give up the HP percentage from Fleet of the Ageless. For experimental damage Fushuan builds, you may also want to try looking into Inul Sol Soto. For Fushuan's relic main stats, aim for the following. On her body armor and planar sphere, you're looking for HP percentage. On the boots, the best in slot is speed, but if you need to be a little bit tankier, you can also grab HP percentage here as well. On the link rope, your best in slot is energy recharge. But feel free to swap out any HP percentage rolls on your pieces for defense percentage rolls instead if you fall short of the recommended defense provided earlier. In addition to that, for experimental Fushuan builds, like damage focus, some other main stats may be more optimal. When looking for substats on your relics, prioritize hitting the HP, defense, and speed values mentioned earlier on in the guide. HP percentage is your top priority, defense percentage is a second pick, and speed when you're tanky enough or can find it on your gear. After hitting the tankiness goals, you can either grab more HP percentage substats or splash into some experimental ones like break effect. Fushuan has many fantastic light cone options, some of which are accessible completely for free. When choosing our light cone, we're looking for three things. Survivability for Fushuan through high defense, HP and damage mitigation, team supporting effects, and a way for Fushuan to gain additional energy. Her best light turn is of course her signature. It has incredible base stats, bonus HP, and grants her energy recharge to help secure those three action ultimates easier. The light turn also offers insane team benefits, granting the entire team 9% increased damage, 
but more importantly, close to a full heal every time a wave ends, making solo sustaining with Bushuan a lot safer and consistent, especially in Memory of Chaos. Her signature wins across the board in almost every category except raw effective health. An excellent alternative to her signature and in close second is Japard's Light Cone Moment of Victory, which has decent base HP, but very high base defense. It also has increased defense percentage and then even more defense percentage temporarily after your hit. The combination of all these stats is one incredibly tanky Fushuan, but compared to a signature your total HP will be lower, meaning you won't have as large buffs and healing won't be quite as strong. Moment of Victory also increases Fushuan's chance to be hit substantially, boosting your team's survival but also granting Fushuan the energy she needs thanks to enemies hitting her more often. This option is tankier than her signature in terms of defense, but is slightly behind in terms of utility. Landau's Choice is one of your next best options, functioning almost identically to Moment of Victory, but instead of offering huge defense, instead offers a huge damage reduction. With this, Bushwan will have respectable effective health, but also the same taunting ability. Day 1 of My New Life can also be a good choice if you have it leveled. It grants Fushuan respectable stats and defense percentage, but most importantly offers the entire team a huge damage reduction improving everyone's tankiness substantially. The only drawback of this light cone is it doesn't offer any help for Fushuan's energy recharge. It is however an excellent choice if you have none of the light cones previously mentioned. For a completely free to play option, Texture of Memories is also a great choice, and you can get it to S5 without spending. This light cone provides decent base stats, but has a busted activated effect that provides Fushuan a huge shield based on her total HP. And while she has any shield, she gains a ton of damage reduction as well. This light cone is the single best light cone from preventing Fushuan from being one shot, but unfortunately the shield only lasts two turns and has a three turn cooldown, making it somewhat inconsistent. It also doesn't offer much in the way of team utility or assistance with energy generation, but if it's all you've got, it's absolutely a good choice. Fushuan has a lot of options for her gear sets and light cones, each with their own pros and cons. To make these easier, here's a chart with an overview of her top options and which areas they excel at. And for all you crazy min-maxers out there, here's a chart which displays every relic and light cone combination mentioned in this video and how much effective health it grants Fushuan when using endgame gear. I've also included some calculations where I swapped out one HP main stat piece for a defense piece, which had some pretty interesting results granting more effective health but at the cost of team utility, so HP percentage is likely still better. But we can see here the most tanky setup is using her signature alongside a two-piece Wuthering Snow and two-piece Longest Disciples set. But for more nerdy info, check the spreadsheet link down below for more charts. Fushuan's Eidolons are not at all required for her to be a fully functioning, solo sustained character, but if you're looking to invest more in the up and coming pink general, her E1 is definitely the one to look out for. Unlocking the E1 will add a new effect to her knowledge buff which is granted by her skill, adding 30% crit damage to your entire team while her matrix is active. When combined with the existing 12% crit rate boost, this further pushes her bonus harmony abilities and team support. Team building for Fushuan is incredibly easy, thanks to her ability to solo sustain most team compositions by herself, but there are three things to keep in mind to ensure everything runs smoothly with her at the helm of sustain by herself. Fushuan's matrix grants a good amount of crit rate percentage, so pairing her with characters that can take advantage of it are stronger than teammates who can't, like Sampo or Luka. It's also important to ensure you don't overcap your crit rate percentage and waste her buff, so make sure to check your damage dealer's character sheets after team building. Next up is the fact that Fushuan is not a fully skill point positive sustaining character like Japard or Luocha, so skill points will be tighter when she is keeping your team alive by herself. With this in mind, characters like Imbibido Lune and QQ will require a little bit of extra work to ensure their maximum damage potential when teamed up with Fushuan. Our third point is that Fushuan is a master of protecting the team, as we've learned, but offers minimal team heals throughout the fight, outside of her ultimate spot heal and signature light cone, if you have it. Because of this, when playing her solo with characters that like to put themselves in danger like Blade, Arlen or Clara, things can get a little risky, even though she is a great support for them. But Fushuan also has some incredible synergies. The crowd control protection provided by her skill is a massive help for units that rely on counter attack damage or delayed damage like Blade, Clara and Jinyuan. 
Genie One's damage is back loaded in his Lightning Lord, which is slow enough that it generally moves after enemies, giving them an opportunity to stun him and disable his Lord. Fushuan saves Jing and his Lord by protecting them from crowd control, making her a great partner for him. Blade and Clara both want to be hit by as many enemies as possible and rely on dealing follow up counter damage in response. Being crowd controlled by enemies hitting them ruins their maximum damage potential. Pairing each with Fushuan protects them from nasty crowd controls, letting them get their counters off effectively. Additionally, Fushuan's HP scaling from her skill not only makes the whole team tankier, but can boost the efficacy of any HP scaling unit in your party, like Blade or some Abundance characters, and maybe even a few in the future. To wrap things up, when playing Fushuan as a solo sustainer, while she does fit with just about anyone, to ensure you have a good amount of skill points to play with, consider pairing her with a fully skill point positive support like Pella. This should ease any issues you have playing with higher skill point cost units, like in Bibital Lune and QQ mentioned earlier. For example, you could roll a team like this. Jin Yuan is your main damage dealer, Ting Yun as one of your supports, Pella as your fully skill point positive support, and Fushuan as your semi skill point positive sustainer. This would be a well balanced team with some skill points to spare if Pella needs them to remove any debuffs. And thanks to Fushuan's crit rate buff, this is a triple buffing support lineup with great utility. You can also swap Jin Yuan out for a number of other damage dealers as you see fit. However, if you're having trouble surviving or playing with teammates that like to sacrifice their life or jump into danger, consider bringing an additional sustain unit alongside Fushuan like Luocha, Bailu, Lynx, or Natasha to form an unkillable fortress and help building skill points. For example, a team might be Clara, Ting Yun, Lynx, and Fushuan. With double sustain, you're at no risk of dying, and you've got some great party buffs in there as well, coming from each of the three supports. And finally, to bring us home as a quantum sustainer, Fushuan also fits into the incredibly anticipated mono quantum team. Focused on allowing Silver Wolf to implant her quantum weakness 100% of the time, thanks to having a full quantum roster. Here's one way you can build the team. Consisting of Fushuan, Lynx, Silver Wolf, and either Sele or QQ. Fushuan really is incredibly flexible. With so many synergies, these were just a few. If you have any others I missed, be sure to comment them down below so we can all learn from them together. Hopefully you guys learned something new and enjoyed my Fushuan guide, and until next time, cheers.